Sirach chapter 12, verse 10, and it reads, Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, niggas double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops, the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. This is your enemy, Israel, right? This is your enemy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to vote for the lesser of two evils. What? <clears throat> what? The scriptures say those that fear the Lord are supposed to hate evil. Matter of fact, let's get that right quick. This is, this is just something quick, man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Right? Let's get this. And I don't know if y'all heard that lightning. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as I said that right there, um, y'all then started thundering. I don't know if y'all heard it. I heard that just then. But soon as I say, those that fear the Lord supposed to hate evil, they say, no, it started thundering, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans keep trusting in this, this serpent. He's going to bite you in your ass. And I'm going to go right back to Sirach. It, it, it tells us um, who shall pity a charm that is bit with the serpent. So as I say, those that fear the Lord supposed to hate evil, it started thundering outside. I don't know if y'all. Did you hear that, Israel? Do you hear it? The Lord ain't playing, man. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. And it reads, the fear. I'm going to just blow it up. Trust it in this devil, man. It's all a damn, it's all a damn circus, Israel. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. And it reads, the fear of the Lord. You, you, you love the Lord. You fear the Lord, right? You believe in the Lord, right? That's, that's what you say, right? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13, and it reads, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus, is to hate evil. You fear the Lord, you're supposed to hate evil. You don't supposed to say, I'm going to choose the lesser of two evils. What? What the hell do they do to that? I'm, I'm not choosing evil, period. Whether it's lesser or greater. You see, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. Let me show you that. You vote for them, Fire Marshal Bill. You see, or either, or either Donald Duck or Daffy Duck. This is just crazy. It's just crazy. The Lord said, if you're going to sit anybody over you, and I'm going to get that scripture too, Lord's willing. The Lord said, look, look, according to the Bible, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, if you're going to sit anyone over you, it's got to be one of thy brethren. It's got to be a man of the Lord. You see? Just like we had, we had King Moses set over us, right? We had Joshua set over us, right? You see, Noah was set over us, right? Those were men of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. Let's go through these little pictures right quick. Just through. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. It reads, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is to hate evil. We're supposed to hate evil. You don't supposed to say, oh, yeah, they just doing what they did. They ain't bother me. They ain't bother me. No. H-A-T-E, evil. You see? Wickedness. That's why the scripture say, conform not to the ways of this world. Now, our people, our people are in love with evil. Our people are in love with wickedness. When the scripture say, learn not the ways of evil, it's just some quick, you know? I threw some posts earlier. You just see all this wickedness going on, like the elders, you know what I'm saying, from Chicago, they going, they going live now on, on the wickedness and the whoredom of a woman. Uh, over here in Babylon, man, look at how people, look at the, the mindset of our people over here in Babylon. That's why the scriptures say, war to them to call evil good. These people, these people um, was given the power, you know what I'm saying, have been given the power, you know what I'm saying, to destroy the earth, but you voting for them? And all that voting shit is nonsense. You vote, you vote for this dude. You vote for this dude. And I described to say, Sirach chapter 10, verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. But you have it your way, though, Israel. You have it's all a shit show. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shot, is to hate evil. So we're supposed to hate evil. A little, a little pride. And this pride month, 
pride year. It ain't just pride month. It's pride damn year. You see? Stop stop saying it's just pride month. It's damn pride year, man. All right? And pride go up before destruction and the heart of the spirit before fall, right? And, and arrogance. So these people walking around with these prideful, arrogant, pompous spirits. Look, H-A-T. H-A-T. And the evil way. It's the lesser of two evils, brother. It's the lesser of two evils, brother. These people are wicked. These people are evil. And the evil way and the full mouth do I hate, man. You see? And the Lord said, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. So let's go back here. Like I said, just something quick too, man. Just look at the mind state of the average Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, and they're two through. They are two through. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. Oh, I got to vote. I got to vote. I got to vote. I got to vote. Never trust thy enemy, man. You see? Let me show you shot that. Let me show you shot that. Fire Marshal Bill looking ninja, you know what I'm saying? Let me show you shot Just look, look. It's just, it's too, it's just a shit show, man. Just walking right off the damn front of the page, man. Right off the front of the damn time, man. Just walking right the hell out. Don't even know, man. Don't even know where he at, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't even that dude. For like his iron rusts, so is his wickedness. So this devil, he can put on a suit. He can put on a smile. He could look a certain way, but he's 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 created to be the wicked, right? Let's go here. I want, I want to go here. But brother, but brother, we got to vote for one of them, brother. That they what the scriptures say. So rock, chapter, look, look, I just read, never trust thy enemy, right? So the lesser of two evils, you got to vote for either one. No, don't vote for none of them. Don't vote, period. What the hell you talk? You Israelites are through, man. Sirach chapter 12, verse 13, it reads, Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent? So you, you going around, messing around with a snake, you get bit by it. Who's supposed to feel bad for you? Who's supposed to feel bad for you? You go messing around with a snake. You go messing around with a serpent, and that serpent bites you. Who do we supposed to feel bad? Like you, you ninjas went and took that damn jungle juice too. Now look at you, all on the on, on the ground. You know what I'm saying uh, on on your back, kicking with your feet, kicking up in the air like a damn roach. You know what I'm saying? It's been sprayed with some damn raid. You see that damn OJ? That damn juice was damn raid, and you're the damn roach. You see? Now you on your damn back kicking up in the air wanting somebody to feel bad for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you dwelling in the way. Nah, that, that's on you. Sirach so chapter 12, verse 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? No one. You knew it was a snake or any such as come nigh wild beast. This, I must be allowed to get this right here, man. We go, we go through this all the time. Never trust thine enemy. I must be allowed to get this. Jay, this is all a shit show, Jay. But once again, these lessons that we do are only for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Psalm chapter ten, verse um four. Let's just go here. Psalm chapter ten, verse four. GMO food, damn near, damn near every grocery store. Hell, not not damn near every grocery store. Every grocery store, none but GMO foods in the grocery. Every damn thing we eat, damn plastic, all in the damn rice. Now they're saying the average man, I'm saying, got um plastic particles, I'm saying, in his damn testicles. But we got to get the hell out of here, man. We got damn plastic, plastic uh, particles, I'm saying, in our damn testicles, man. Psalms chapter 10 verse 4 and it reads the wicked through the pride of his countenance would not seek after the most high. The heavenly father is not in all his thoughts. This devil is not thinking. This devil was given power to take peace. For look, look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Let me show you a shot. Then. Let me show you a shot. Then. This devil was given power to take peace from the earth, man. But you got you to you people don't get little everything through. And this dude right here. It's not this dude. Two two separate dudes. You can't see that Israel. Two separate dudes. Them them different chins and everything. This right here. This sleepy Joe right here. This this fire marshal bill on the left right here. It's not this fire marshal bill right here on the left. Two separate dudes. But you you, you I was trying to tell this this Jake chick. You know I'm saying that it's two separate dudes. They don't understand. They go. The Lord has really blinded the majority of our people, man. Two thirds of our people, two thirds. You have really been blinded. Once again, Psalms ten and four. The wicked, sleazy Esau, Edom, the Edomites, 
through the pride of his country. Starting off with their elites, the elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers, the Schicken Groovers, so forth and so on, right? The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Heavenly Father. He won't program to be that way. He won't program to seek the Lord, all right? His his um his handler, you know what I'm saying? The God that he takes orders from is the spiritual demon Satan. He's uh, Sleazy E, Esau Edom, he's the physical counterpart of, of the spiritual demon Satan, man. All right? That's who he works through, right? The Most High is not in all his thoughts, so why the hell would you vote for him? If the most high, look, this man, y'all, um, what is what, what, how that saying go? This man, your best interest is not in this man's hand. He's not, he's not for your best interest. His, his look, let's get this. You, you, it's like you just start, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna learn. You go, you gonna learn the hard way though. You will learn, but you're gonna learn the hard way. St. John chapter 10. This is this man's MO. St. John chapter 10, verse 10, and reads the thief. Sleazy is nothing but a thief. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Is he, is he not doing it? his blessing was a sword? His less his blessing, I'm saying, was weaponry. You see, his his blessing was weaponry. And you see how he uses his technology to further destroy the minds of the people and the earth at the same time. This man is literally, literally destroying the earth. Literally cut down all the trees. And you wonder why it's hot as hell. He cut down all the trees. He's poisoning the, he's poisoning the water. He's poisoning the air. All the damn food is fake. And once again, men got plastic particles in their damn testicles. But this is who you want to rule over you? Are, are, are you serious? This is who you want to rule over you, right? Look at look at look at him. Just through. But about to burn the whole damn building down, you know what I'm saying? But this is who you trust in, all right? I, you, you, you people gone. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's why we need the Lord. That's why we need your how was shy. You see? As a matter of fact, let me just get this. Get, put these heathens. I, I people, matter of fact, before I even get that, I, I people want these heathens to rule over. This is madness. Jeremiah chapter 7. But but we get it, though. But once again, you, you hope for Lex out there. You hope for Lex Israelite men and women. Don't you be out there voting. Don't, don't you be out there going with that same stupid narrative. Tell someone, we're going to vote for the lesser of two evils. Are you serious? You don't vote for evil, period. You don't vote for wickedness, period. And the Lord getting busy out there with that thunder too. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahushua getting busy out there with that thunder. I don't know if y'all hear it or not. You see? Matter of fact, I'm all over the place. Bear with me. Let me see. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 8 and it reads behold ye trust in lying words I'm gonna make it better for you I'm gonna make life better for you you trust in lying look, 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 just through just look at him man just through that's the that guy right there it's not that guy you can you too you that's how you know the Lord no saying got our people up on a strong delusion you Israelites are blind as shit this dude right here the one on the left it's not this dude right here what part of that don't you not see you see, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 8, and it reads, Behold, which means to look, ye trust in lying words. You keep trusting in this devil. He was created to be a liar. He was created to be a thief. He was created to be a deleter. You, 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 don't, you don't get that yet? Or the crook, the villain, the harbinger of death. He was created to destroy the earth. He was given power to take peace from the earth. But you talking about something, you going to vote for him? What? You, you're going to vote for a man that was actually given power to take peace from the earth. That's why going right back to Surat that I read, 12 and I think down at the bottom, who, who would pity a trauma that was bitten by a serpent? You trust in lying words that cannot profit. Are we not hearing this? Are, are we not hearing this? Are, are we, matter of fact, are we, are we not slacking? Are we not reading the same thing? I, I don't think we read not the same book either. You see? And I, and I, I want to get this because I made a statement. Once more to put no heathen over us to rule over us. But you can't tell a ninja nothing, though. 
We're gonna we're gonna vote for the lesser of two evils. What? Deuteronomy chapter seventeen. This is coming straight out of the Bible. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Look, look, look at it. Look, look, through. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Fire Marshal Bill, face looking ninja. Let me show you. Look, look, through. About to burn the whole earth down. Through. Just through. Just look at him. Mr. Burns looking ninja. Just through, man. Deuteronomy 17 and 14. And it reads. Come on now. Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 14. I don't know why that shit keep popping up there. Why they keep popping up there? I don't know the fuck going on. Deuteronomy 17 and 14, and it reads, When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt possess and possess it, and, and shalt possess it, and shalt dwell therein, and, and and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose, one from among thy brethren. So you don't never sit a heathen, or you're going to vote for the lesser two evils. You don't never put a heathen over you, man. One of thy brethren. Look, coming straight out of let me show you something. They have fire marshal bill looking ninja. This is a little just true. Would it say, one of thy brethren, one from among thy brethren, shall thou set king over thee? Thou mayest not set a stranger, aka a heathen, over thee, which is not thy brother. But our people ain't thinking about that, man. They said they're going to vote for the lesser of two evil. They want to set these heathens over them. Our people want these heathens to rule over them. I just read, you know what I'm saying? This devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. And the little matter, matter of fact, let's just get this right quick. Because I'm, I'm about to run. Like I said before, just something quick, too, man. Just throwing something out there for the hopeful elect. You, you, you hopeful elect Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know not to be out there voting. Period. Period. Don't take none of that man juice. Don't take that C hip. Don't take that M O T to the B B B B B. You know what I mean? Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. Don't take it, Israel. Psalm, because it's getting ready to get rough. Psalm chapter 140. Verse 1, and it reads, Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, from the evil man. These people are evil. These people, look, look at them, man. These people are evil, man. Evil, evil. You see? Deliver us from that evil man. The man is destroying the earth. The man is creating GMO foods. The man is polluting the water. You see? The man is changing, you know what I'm saying, men and women into them transformers more than meets the eye. Robots in disguise deliver us from this devil. From this deceiver, man, he's going to destroy everything. And then going right back to St. Matthew 24 and verse uh, 21 and uh, 20 and 21, I'm thinking, it says the Lord got to hurry up and speed up time because if not, ain't going to be no flesh to be saved. Because this devil is destroying everything, Israel. This devil is destroying everything. Let me show you a shot there. Let me show you a little fire, Marshall Bill. Look, 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 look at him. It's true. Let me show you a shot there. Let me show you a shot there. What did I put at the top? Fire Marshal Bill is too through. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Look in ASS, Proverbs 16, 22. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto them, unto him that have it. But the, but the instruction of fools is folly. Babylon is through. It's through, Israel. All right? Look at him. Don't even know where the hell he is. It's, a, it's all a shit show. It's all a shit show, Israel. Psalms 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, from the evil man, preserve from sleazy E. Starting up with there, at least. Deliver, preserve me from the violent man. The, the, he's violent. He's the most violent creature ever created. Which imagine mischief in his heart and his mind. Continually are they gathered together for war. Only thing this man thinking about is seeing somebody fall. The scripture say he lay upon his bed, you know what I'm saying, and, and think about what he gonna do. And when it, when the morning is light, he practice it, man. All right? 
He, he practiced his wickedness. Look, 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 this is not our rest, Israel. This is not our rest. Never trust thine enemy. What part of that don't you understand? Let's get, so I got, I got one more, then I'm going to roll. I got one more, then I'm going to roll, man. The thief coming from the still. I mean, Israel's not going to listen. They trust in oppression. The scriptures say they trust in oppression, man. Sirach chapter 14. They feel like this devil's going to finally give them a, a, a fair shake, right? This is Sirach chapter 14. Verse 5, and it reads, he that is evil to himself. Are we not hearing this? He that is evil to himself. This is true, man. This is true, man. He that is evil to himself, right? To whom will he be good? This devil don't even like himself, so what makes you think he's going to like you? And wait till it ain't no food. You wait till it's like, you like if it's only a loaf of bread in the grocery store, you think this devil is going to take it and feed his kids? His offsprings, or he's gonna take it and feed you Jake's out there. Which one do you think is gonna happen? You see? To whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a reeky piss of his wickedness, man. All right? This devil is jealous of his own people. He envies his own people, man. So you know he ain't got no love for the Israelites, but but you're gonna see, you're gonna see, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's just get this get that before I close out. And the Lord getting busy out there with that thunder too. Yeah, how about I don't know if y'all hear it or not, but the Lord out there getting busy with that thunder, man. It's a fearful thing. Remember, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Remember that, Israel. Remember that? This is Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 16, and it reads, For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. This is talking about this devil, sleazy, easy, easy. They don't get no rest unless they do some mischief, man. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Are we not hearing this? Are we not hearing this? For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Are we not hearing this? But oh yeah, vote for the lesser two evils, right? Vote for the lesser of two evils, right? You Israelites need to be ashamed of yourself, man. But 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 it is what it is. The Lord got you believing in this devil. Then you you gonna you gonna lay down with this devil, man. He was given power to take peace from the earth. Never trust thy enemy. Matter of fact, I, I, I might as well end it. I, I might as well end it. End it with this. Let's go to Proverbs 3. I'm right here. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, and it reads, Trust in the Lord. And it's going to say, Curse is he that trusteth in man. Cursed be he or she that trusteth in man. What does it say? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Are we not hearing this? But you Israelites, you have it your way. You do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? And the Lord's going to do what he, 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 he has to do. Remember, you, you look, you were warned. The Lord said, give them warning from me. Evil is good is set against evil and life against death, man. All right. Never trust thine enemy. Shalom.